so this baby uh, mariam came with a left hip dislocation if you see the left hip is outside the socket right so by birth this left hip was never inside the socket this is the normal hip on the right side this is the condition in which the child came to us so upon investigation the child was otherwise normal there was no other problem with the child there was no genetic issues no neuromuscular issues no bone issues so she only had an isolated dislocation of the left hip now if you see the left hip is outside the socket and the left hip ball is much smaller than this side this is much larger this is much smaller and it is way outside so there are lot of soft tissue obstructions to this so she was taken up for a surgical correction where the left hip was cleaned out this hip was put inside and a correction of this shallow cup if you see the the cup is quite shallow so we had to make it deep so we had to make a cut in the bone and turn the bone down and stabilize it, it with wires so this is how the surgery was done you see the hip is now inside well inside the socket deep inside the socket this is the bone cut and this is the bone graft this was stabilized with two wires this wire these wires were removed at 6 weeks and the child was put in a plaster this is known as a spica plaster the child was kept in a spica for 6 weeks and this wire were removed at 6 weeks another plaster was reply, uh, was applied at 6 weeks for another 6 weeks so total 3 months of plaster initially it was a 1 and 1/2 hip spica and after that a half pant spica so once the wires were removed the healing was complete uh the hip was put in a special kind of belt can you see the belt and the hip is now inside the bone has now healed carefully the close up show the close up yeah if you see carefully the hip is now inside the bone graft and the osteotomy has completely mixed up and has completely joined together it's now single bone and the cup is now much more deep and uh, this is the status after uh seven months of surgery with the child now already walking with the belt the osteotomy has healed the ball is inside the socket the head is still small so it is expected that the child as soon as she starts walking uh the head will uh will increase in size so the child is currently put in a brace where she is able to walk with the brace on the belt is initially worn for around 6 months full time and thereafter if the hip is stable enough the bone is developed the hip doesn't go out or is not subluxating outside then we discontinue the daytime bracing and continue only nighttime bracing so that's the bracing protocol for next 3 uh, uh, to 4 months usually it is stopped by around 9 to 10 months but if required we may even need to continue the bracing for another 6 months so younger the child easier to treat the hip so in ddh it's important that uh, the diagnosis is made early and the hip is reduced with minimal intervention in early stages it can be reduced just with plasters public harness uh, sometimes just close reduction some minor surgeries if the child is older we may require major surgeries to put the ball in sometimes we may need to cut the femur bone sometimes we need to cut the pelvic bone like in this case and that's how ddh is treated thank you